Okay, this video is about working with art and tool pathing in 3D with art. So the first thing I did is, under art, you might have to turn it on. Um, so you turn it on here and, and use it. The first thing you do is you work with trace image raster to vector, so you get a vector image, and that's what I have here. Then I go to stock setup. I'm in the lower left corner. I'm 15 by 24. And my board is 0.7 deep. Um, you do have to spend a fair bit of time going through this image to make sure that all the chains will close. Okay. Then the tool path that what I do is I go to art. I go to new art base surface rectangular. In this pull up window here is my lower left point at the origin zero zero. And then my upper right point is going to be um, 15 over and 24 up. You can make it a little bit bigger. Um, so that creates a rectangle. So that's it there. Then again, I go back to art. It's my second step. Create art surface operation organic. I'm going to do it with a chain. So I have an issue right there. So I'm going to have to go in there. I had all of these little mistakes in here that didn't close. So I went through and I cleaned all those up. I'm going to do it with a chain. You can see the chain goes all the way around. If it doesn't, remember, you just got to figure out where it goes to red and make sure those lines connect. Um, I'm going to select some of these indentations here. And I'm going to actually engrave this whole thing in, and these little islands will stand proud. So that's good. Green check mark. This is going to be the radius of the cut. Um, and this is the radius here. You could change this. On this tree, I actually did a quarter inch. And what I did is I went to subcut. Um, takes a little while to process. I'll name it tree one. And there it is. And then the third step is I go art, tool path, art base. Um, I'm going to use half inch ball line mill here. So I'm going to use a half inch ball cutter. I'm going to slow it down because it's a pretty big bit. I'm going to go more like 120 and 60. Uh, go through all my parameters here. All looks good. There's my tool path. I could verify it in an isometric fit screen and I actually set that depth a quarter inch and then what I do is I leave that bit you know maybe like a sixteenth of an inch high above my wood as my zero point and that's what prevents these lines from getting marked out. I'm actually going to run this over four boards as a cabinet front and I'll show you a picture of them when I'm done. So it looks good there's my tree and roots um, yeah, there's my project in art, and that's how you tool path it. Um, back to the stop screen. First thing I do is I go File, Save. I want to make sure I save this file. And then after I save it, then I want to post it um, and turn it all into numeric code. So I'm going to save it on my desktop. And you'll see there's a ton of code here. So here's all my code. I'm going to go all the way down. There's 18,000 lines of code, so there, there's a lot of information here. All right, let's go run it and see what it looks like. Move it over four boards. There's a tree down to the roots, and you can see the roots engraved there.